My search for more affordable earphones continues. This time I found the Philips SHE5305. So are these any better than the Portronic Sconch? Well, let's find out. Retailing for around 800 to 1000 Indian currency, depending on the color you choose, the Philips is made of three layers, plastic, metal and a rubberized plastic with a rounded style cable which I'm not a big fan of, it's stiff and curls up all the time. Now the earphones feel really sturdy and lightweight but they do seem to stick out a bit when compared to others that I've previously used but they are not uncomfortable by any means. The silicone ear tips are very comfortable and never slipped off my ears but as with every earphones this is going to be an individual's experience. What fits perfectly for me may not fit for you. Now where the cable joins the earphones there is a spring to avoid the tension at least that's what Philips claims. Now how good they are well only time can tell but I haven't had any issues in my 2-3 to three weeks of testing. What I love about the Philips earphones are the big right and left engraving on the outside of the earphones. This makes it easy to identify but I wish it was in a different color on the black earphone and vice versa. Now as I mentioned before the cable is not flat style which I miss but it does avoid tangles pretty decently and is long enough. Now as with the Portronic Sconch I hate that the 3.5mm end is not right angled. But overall, the Philips SHE 5305 feels extremely solid and sturdy and can easily handle some abuse on your journey. The single multifunction button can be used to play, pause, answer, skip to next and previous song and also long click to activate Google Now on your smartphone. Now I really appreciate that Philips includes 3 ear tips, especially at this price range. So the million dollar question, how does it sound? Well for the price, this is really good. It's not going to blow your mind but it's definitely good for everyday use. The mids are clear and the highs were not too sharp. Now the bass is just superb, a bit too strong for my personal taste but bass lovers will enjoy this earphone. It felt like having a subwoofer strapped onto your ear. It's still not as strong as the Sony's XB series but can't complain about the performance. The sound isolation was also pretty good, I really couldn't hear much when I travelled in bus and there was no disturbance of the cable rubbing on my clothes. Overall, this is a nice sounding earphones with superb bass for the price. Now after reviewing the Portronic Sconch 2 or 2 recently, I had my expectations pretty high because the Philips is double the price of Conch and to be honest, it didn't disappoint at all. I was very happy with its performance. Now the only thing I was disappointed with the Philips was the flat style cable but that's just me nitpicking. Now is it better than the Conj? Well to be honest they both are good. But the bass on the Philips is a bit more strong. Conj has a more relaxed and laid back bass. So go for the Portronic Sponge if you like a little bit more relaxed bass else go with the Philips you will love the bass. Now if you are someone who's not comfortable with a lesser known brand like Portronix and have all the bigger brand names tattooed on your body and love bass to death then Philips is a great choice and honestly a good value for money. Hope you guys enjoyed the review and thank you for watching. If you are interested in the earphones you can find the link in the description below the like button. So which one will be your choice? The Philips? or the Portronic Sconch? Let me know in the comments below. My name is Adi, I'll see you guys in the next video.